Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to get it all done. We're going to be cooking, cleaning. I've got a couple of simple DIYs and today is also laundry day. So I'm also bringing you along for some laundry motivation. But before we get into this video, I want to let you know that it is a collab with Brandy from All Things Brandy Nicole. And I'm going to let her introduce herself right here. Hey girlfriend, I'm Brandy from All Things Brandy Nicole. I am a stay-at-home mom of three and wife with a passion for creating a pleasant home for my family, promoting self-love and uplifting other women. On my channel, you'll find a variety of transparent and practical lifestyle content, as well as cleaning motivation, small home organization, DIY, simple recipes, and of course, some home decor. After you're finished watching this lovely lady's video, I'd love for you to come over to my channel for even more homemaking motivation. And please don't be shy, girl. Come on down in the comments and say hello. I hope to see you there. Okay, y'all, so when you are done here, please head over to Brandy's channel and show her some love. She is such a sweet and caring person, and I know you're going to love her and her channel. I will have the link to her channel in the description box below. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on my dinner first. We are having pulled barbecue chicken sandwiches and baked beans. So I'm just making the sauce for the chicken, and the recipe calls for zesty Italian dressing, Worcestershire sauce, um, barbecue sauce you can use whatever um, barbecue sauce you want I'm using sweet baby rays hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce and it also calls for brown sugar and I'm adding some honey the recipe didn't say to add honey but I am because that's what I do I like to put my own spin on it and I forgot to tell y'all that the recipe calls for um, six boneless skinless chicken breasts so that's what I already have in the crock pot and I'm just going to go ahead and finish mixing everything together and then I'm going to pour it over the chicken and let it cook on high for four hours. Okay, so these are the ingredients I'll be using for my baked beans, ketchup, mustard, bell peppers, and onions, brown sugar, and I'm using the original Bush's baked beans. A lot of times I'll add ground beef, but not today. I'm just keeping it simple. And once I get everything mixed together, I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. And I will make sure that I leave the ingredients and the recipes in the description box below. So my kitchen wasn't a mess, but I just needed to go ahead and take care of the dishes that I just used to make everything.
If you're new here or coming from Brandy's channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. I would love for you to leave a comment down below to say hi and introduce yourself. I'm Tiffany. I'm a wife and mother of two and I love to create cleaning, decorating, and organizing videos. If that's something you enjoy, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell before you go. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. So y'all, this video is a lot longer than what I normally do, but um, I had a lot of energy this day. Some of y'all may know that I suffer with MS, but this day I had a lot of energy and I was feeling really good. And there were some things that I had been wanting to get done for a while. So I figured while I have that energy, let me go ahead and take care of these things. And I figured why not bring y'all along with me. So y'all leave me a comment down below and let me know how y'all feel about the longer videos. So the beans are ready but we're not going to eat just yet it was still kind of early it was about two o'clock in the afternoon and me and the kids weren't hungry yet and my husband was still at work so i'm just going to let him sit on the stove until it's time for us to eat dinner okay y'all so my laundry room is a wreck right now i had my husband to um take the shelves down in here because i want to spray paint them i'm going to spray paint them black so he took everything down for him before he went to work. And I just wanted to kind of tie in with that a little bit. And um, I got this picture here from Bells. And I think that the shells will look nice um, being black, just to kind of go with that a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, I'll bring y'all back with me later on this evening once he gets home from work so y'all can see what it's looking like. 
and I got some laundry motivation coming in a minute. So, all right, y'all, let's head outside so we can get these shelves painted. Oh, y'all, I forgot to show y'all these. I also picked these up for my laundry room. I've had these for some months now. If y'all saw my um, Instagram stories when I was cleaning out my guest room, yeah, all of this stuff was in here and I forgot about it. I got this from Dollar General, paid $4 for it. So I think I'm gonna hang this on the um, on the front of the door here, but I'm thinking about painting the trim black just so it'll stand out on the door a little bit better. Um, I just think the black trim will look a little bit better on it. And I got this one too. And it was, um, this one was $5. So I think I'll hang that one up in there somewhere. I figure it out. But um, after I come back in from painting the the shelves, I probably will paint this trim just so it'll stand out on the door because I think it's just going to kind of blend in um, just being up there like that. So I don't know, but we'll see. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get these shelves painted. So I decided to go ahead and tape that picture up so that I can paint it while I was outside painting the shelves. So after I got that first coat done, I went inside and cooled off for about 30 minutes because it was so hot outside. I mean, this heat is not playing this year. This heat is straight body body. So after I cooled off, I ran to the store to get another can of spray paint. And now I'm back home and I'm going to go ahead and start breaking up the chicken. And then I'll let it finish cooking because I think it had about another hour or so. Okay, y'all, so I have been wanting to make these DIY canvas pictures for quite some time, and I've always had the stuff to do it with. When I say always, I mean I've had these things for I know probably a couple of years, and I just never made them. But I was watching Tamara Michelle's channel, and she did some, and they came out beautiful. So um, I will definitely have the link to her video in the description box below. Y'all should check her channel out. She has awesome content. But I sent this, I sent these pictures over to Walgreens to have them print these eight by tens out for me because I'm still getting my office together and I want to hang them up over my desk. And I just thought that would be a good idea to uh, make some canvas pictures. And I hope they turn out right. If they don't, then I'll just put them in frames and hang them up on the wall or something like that. But I really hope this works out. So I'm going to try one just to see how well it comes out. And if I don't like it, then I won't go any further. But if um, if I like it, then I will bring you all back to show you the steps that I took. So my first one turned out really well. I am absolutely loving how it turned out. And now I'm just going to show you all how I did it. All you need is Mod Podge, a paintbrush or sponge and whatever size pictures and canvas you choose. And the first thing that I did was add some Mod Podge to the canvas. And then once I had the Mod Podge all over my canvas, I lined the picture up with the canvas and then I added more Mod Podge to the picture. And you can either go from side to side with your strokes or top to bottom, but your brush strokes will show. And I like the fact that they show through because I feel like it adds character to the pictures. And also too, I forgot to mention, if you've never worked with Mod Podge before, it goes on white, but it dries clear. And once it dries, the pictures will have a glossy finish.
and I'm just gonna do one more real quick for y'all And I am absolutely loving the way they all turned out. I cannot wait to hang these up. So the chicken was done and it was time for us to eat and i had some coleslaw on the side my kids don't really care for it and i also put a little bit on my sandwich and it was so good yeah i tried to wait on my husband but i was so hungry that night but i just made him a plate and put it in a microwave and while i was waiting on him to get home i went ahead and got started on my first load of laundry
So my husband has made it home and he's already put the shelves back and now he's hanging the laundry sign for me and this is how it's looking so far and while I have everything out I'm going to go ahead and clean the laundry room before I put everything back. So y'all, I didn't spend a lot of money to refresh my laundry room, which is right up my alley because I'm cheap and I like to hold on to my coins, okay? So the laundry sign was only $12.99 and I bought two cans of spray paint for $3.48 a piece. So I spent about $20 or so with tax and I just think it's amazing how some paint and a picture would change the look of a whole space. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my second load out of the dryer so that I can get them folded, and then I'll put my last load in. I got it. 
So y'all, it's about one something in the morning and I was still filming, but I just got to give my husband his props. Anytime I have these late night filming sessions or even if I'm filming when he comes home from work, he will hang out with me and keep me company. And I just really appreciate him for that because he would have worked all day and he will still come home and help me with whatever I have going on if I need him to. Within. 
So as y'all can see, it is 1.55 in the morning and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my last load of laundry so that I can get them folded. So we have come to the end, but before I go, I just want to thank you all so much for your kind words and encouragement. You all motivate me to keep going and creating these videos for y'all, which I absolutely love to do. And I just want to say that I love each and every one of you. Well, I hope that I was able to give you some cleaning motivation and some ideas for dinner and some inspiration to refresh any space in your home. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you never miss an upload. And also head on over to Brandy's channel and show her tons of love and subscribe and tell her that I sent you. And don't forget that you can follow me on Instagram at TiffanyMichelle76. Thanks for watching. God bless and I'll see you in the next one.